Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today I'm going to be doing some speed reviews over all of the makeup that I tried in June of 2023. I thought I took it easy in June because that is when I went on vacation. I was gone for about two weeks, but um, according to the pile I have in front of me, I guess I didn't take it easy. We have a lot to get to today. If it is your first time here on my channel, let me just say hello and welcome to all of you and invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you are a fan of speed reviews, you just want to see all the stuff that I hauled during June of 2023, be sure to give this video a thumbs up before you go. I will have as much as I can linked in the description box and some of those links might be affiliate links. So if you do end up shopping through them, Thank you so so much for supporting me and my channel. I did already film this look This was my full face of makeup that inspires me video It was a collaboration with my friend Alicia from Alicia budget beauty So I'll have that video with all of this makeup linked in a pinned comment that we can go check it out Let's get started guys. We have a lot to cover today. Grab a snack grab a drink If you guys want to see all the makeup that I hauled in June keep on watching All right, so let's start first with NYX because I got quite a few things from NYX. So we're gonna start first with these three eyeshadow palettes. These are three of four palettes that they released over on their website and on the Ulta Beauty website. I wanna say each of these palettes is like 15 or $16 and you do get, um, you get 16 different shades in this one. So this first one right here, this one is Paradise Shock. Guys, these palettes perform so, so well. This one is going to be the rainbow colored one. This one is called I Know That's Bright. I have a video where I created a look with each, uh, each palette. This one, I think it's my favorite. I love blue and brown together. This one is called Vintage Jean Baby. These shadows perform amazingly well. I like the small size of each palette. Um, and there's just something for everybody. The other one that I didn't pick up was more of a kind of like a neutral palette, like neutral in tones. At first I had thought it was more cool tone, but it's definitely more like in the neutral, maybe warm leaning side. But uh, I bought all three of these ultimate uh, palettes. That's what they're calling them. And again, these perform really well. I would definitely add these to cart during your next Ulta or NYX haul. Uh, moving on from palettes, this Freezy Primer. Now I know this is not brand new, but it was new to me last month. I use this like several times during the month of June and also into July. I've been trying to see if this feels like it's a dupe for the Huda Beauty, the Glowish Blur Jam. And I kind of think, I kind of think it is. So if you don't want to shell out the big bucks for the Blur Jam, then shell out, I think the 15 bucks that this one is, less of course the discounts, the coupons you can get. But this has been a really nice primer. And it does have a slight cooling effect, but it's not extremely cooling. It's just cool enough, and I like it. I feel like my makeup looks smooth. I look a little blurred. I think it's a really good primer. I also picked up and tried out in the month of June. I mean, Barbie is just everywhere. So I picked up everything individually at my local Ulta, and then I did a giveaway with the PR box. That PR box arrived safe and sound already to the winner. So. I hope she is enjoying that, but these were all different things that were included in um, the collection. How cute is this little flip phone mirror? I mean, come on guys, like too cute. This is nice stuff and I wouldn't necessarily categorize it as merch, even though you kind of could put it in that category. It's nice merch. Like it is merch that is actually worth picking up and using on a daily basis. Um, there was a lot to this collection. It was a large collection, but I think if you're a fan of Barbie, if you're anxious to go see the movie, I think the movie drops, is it this week or next week? No, I think it's this week. 
yeah, I think it's this week. Maybe it's uh, right after you're watching this video that the movie um, has come out. But um, these products definitely perform. I didn't encounter any duds with them. I think it was a cute collection and a way to go NYX and Barbie. So next, I have a number of eyeshadow palettes. And we'll start with the one that is on the top. And this is the Resurgence palette from Heather Austin and Unearthly Cosmetics. I like the way this opens up. It opens up like a book style and then you have these 12 beautiful shadows i love this color story i mean the pop of green right there even the red there's some nice contrast in this palette and i think the beautiful shimmer shadows i mean they have such beautiful shifts to them i think heather and unearthly cosmetics did a fantastic job with the entire collection the only thing i was able to pick up was the palette but there were some coordinating uh lippies i think was there some eye products like eyeliners i think it was just lippies um oh and highlighter there was a, a highlighter duo i wasn't able to pick all that up i just got the palette and i love it i think it's beautiful congratulations you two on a beautiful release next up is a palette i tried right at the beginning of june and it is the yucca palette from natasha denona i know a lot a lot of you bought this palette. I'm sure you guys have been enjoying it as much as I have. I mean, I love this color story. I think it's beautiful for year round. This is definitely... This palette is just a nice transition from summer into fall, I think, but then it also works in the springtime and it also works in the wintertime. I think she did a fantastic job with the shades. I love her midi size palettes and the mini size palettes. I would prefer not to buy the larger palettes. Obviously, those are more expensive. Those have like a 125 or 129 price tag. This one, I think, has a, is it a $65 price tag? Of course, you know, Sephora and Ulta you know they have sales coming up to where you can always save and I have noticed that Natasha Denona has been running quite a few sales on her website so uh, if you've been eyeing this palette definitely sign up for those email notifications that way um, you can be notified whenever there is a sale that way you can pick up this palette you're not going to have any issues with it. I think it is a beautiful palette. I think this could be one of my favorite color stories that Natasha Denona has done. Next is a palette that is near and dear to my heart, and it is the Warriors Wear Pink palette. This is a collaboration with Gourmand Girls and Siria Soto. This palette is inspired by, of course, breast cancer awareness, but especially Cedia's battle with breast cancer. She is actively fighting breast cancer as we speak, and this is her second time to fight it. Guys, she's in her 20s. She's in her 20s, and for her to have to go through all of this again, um, you know, it just really hits close to home. My mother is a breast cancer survivor, so is my aunt. I have a lot of people, unfortunately, in my family who have had to endure breast cancer, but thank God they have overcome it. And my thoughts and prayers to all of you out there who are actively fighting breast cancer right now or know somebody who is going through it, this would be a fantastic palette to gift them. That way it'll keep their spirits up and just remind them that they aren't alone in their battle. Um, I think the color story is beautiful. I love this pop of teal. This duochrome is beautiful. I do have an affiliate code with Gourmand Girls. I believe it is Steph and that will save you 10% off of your order. Anything you want to buy. I also want to remind you guys and I mentioned this in my review video but a portion of the proceeds that I get from you all using my affiliate code Steph, I will be donating directly to Cedia so that she can continue fighting the good fight. Next, a palette that kind of came out of nowhere and kind of shocked me. I know it shocked some of you too. This is a neutral palette. and You guys know I love my colorful makeup looks, but the perfect gravity. Guys, look at this palette. Cool tone, neutral color story. This really makes a statement. If you are looking for a cool tone neutral palette and you've never tried Be Perfect before, this is the palette you need to get. And Be Perfect is reasonably priced. They are a UK based indie makeup brand. So shout out to all my UK beauties out there. This is in your backyard. Be Perfect Cosmetics, they have a beautiful eyeshadow palette formula and they usually do large scale palettes. I'm glad to see they scaled it down with this one. This is a 15 pan color story and I love it all day long. Those shimmers are incredible. In incredible 
this is this could be my new favorite neutral palette at least cool tone neutral palette because be perfect did a beautiful job with this one i want to say this is priced at 30 dollars or around 32 dollars something like that um it took it took a little bit of time to get to me and now not like a crazy amount of time but it was at least a week that it took to get to me but well worth the wait definitely worth picking up another neutral palette i told you guys i've been telling you guys neutrals are making a comeback in 2023 but they're making a comeback with beautiful multi and duochromes those special shadows in them to where it kind of it kind of disguises itself from being a neutral palette it kind of makes it seem like you're getting some color as well and that's what i want i want the best of both worlds and i think everyday sparkle from ladybug glow cosmetics definitely achieves that i am not too sure if this palette is in stock if it is it's definitely worth checking out you have these uh, multi duo chromes up here and then you have your matte shadows down here i do have an affiliate code with them i believe it is steph that will give you 10 percent off of your order i do think they ship worldwide so definitely head on over there see if this is in stock if it's not in stock i'm pretty sure she's going to restock it but this palette performed really well i would recommend using some glitter primer with the uh, special shadows up here the shimmer shadows but other than that your looks are going to be beautiful this is your everyday exactly as it says everyday sparkle palette that's exactly what this is this is beautiful i love it i absolutely love it next from clarity cosmetics the aloha palette i took this with me on vacation to the turks and caicos i also took the warriors wear pink uh, palette with me those were the only two eyeshadow palettes that went on the trip when I tell you I had such a fun time photographing this palette out there on the beach, you know, with the water, the sand, I even picked seashells and did some pictures with it. I mean, this screams beach vacation. This screams summer is here all day long. If you are into bright, colorful palettes, you got to have this one. You got to have this one from Clarity Cosmetics, the formula. I've always enjoyed clarity cosmetics formula i have always enjoyed it i have yet to encounter a palette a color story anything from the brand that i don't truly love and i've been trying this brand and reviewing this brand on my channel for quite some time now at least two and a half years um i do have a, an affiliate code and now it works on palettes before it didn't because the price of the palettes had gone up production costs had gone up so rather than upping their prices they just chose not to honor affiliate codes which makes total sense but given that everything is starting to calm down a little bit you can use my affiliate code steph5 and that will give you 10 percent off of your order over at clarity cosmetics this needs to be on your list and they have some new stuff coming out really really soon they're also getting ready to drop the mini croc palette the mini cobra palette is it cobra or coral i forget there's like three or four palettes that they have coming out and some of them are just relaunches but in mini size form because that's exactly what you asked for that was the feedback that you all gave I love it I, I love this palette it was just so beautiful it's so colorful this is just like my color story my happy place all day long let me know what some of your favorite clarity cosmetics palettes are and if you're gonna be picking up that mini croc palette leave it in the comments down below because i know a lot of you have been anxiously awaiting the arrival of that palette so next i have another uk based indie makeup brand shout out to all my uk beauties i'm here for you i understand i understand guys it breaks my heart when you all say stuff i love it but the shipping is so much or stuff i love it but we can't get that here and i hear that a lot especially from all of you in the uk i wish i could change things for you i do it in a second uh but this from cosmic brushes this is their delicious delights palette if you want pastels with a little bit of depth which is exactly what i want because i'm not the biggest pastel lover 
this is the palette for you. The shimmers perform so well, but the foundation of this palette is of course the matte shadows and they are incredible. They're blendable, they're buildable. I just love it. I think it's a beautiful color story. I've had a really nice experience with it. I love that they gave us a couple deeper shadows over here. It's just a nice palette. And if you love working with pastels, you're gonna need to add this one to your cart, uh, to your stash, and also this frosting highlighter palette. This is a really pretty duo multi-chrome highlighter palette. There's so many shifts in here. It looks gorgeous on the cheekbones when you're out in the sunlight. I mean, put this on your shoulders, your decollete. This is beautiful, buttery, creamy, smooth highlighters. I just, I, I love it. I love, this is a new brand for me. This is the second purchase that I make from Cosmic Brushes and I love it. The first palette I got was Serenity. I didn't get the palette that came out right before this one. I missed that release, but I know a lot of you told me that you picked it up and it's really good. So I might have to pick that up later on, but this one, Delicious Delights and the Frosting Highlighter Palette, definitely two thumbs up from me. Okay, so next is a palette. I, you know, it's just gonna be neutral. It's just going to be middle of the road for me. I've tried this palette several times already, and I'm talking about the Cosmos palette from ABH. So mine arrived broken. Uh, the shadow, and you can see it right there, came broken. I asked for, I let them know. I sent them a picture. They said, we will replace it. The replacement came broken as well. So then I asked for a refund, and they refunded me. I gifted the palette to one of my friends. Um, you know, this palette, it works on certain days and then on certain days it doesn't. So maybe it's just my, my eyelids, my pH balance, whatever it is. But, you know, this is not the ABH formula, I guess. This is a new formula. It's a new formula. Um, but I don't know, for some reason for me, it's just not working the way their old formula did. And the Norvina palettes, the larger Norvina palettes, I love those. I love those to pieces. I love everything about those palettes. Even though the size, like I'm more into like this size of a palette, but that formula works so well on me. This newer formula just, it's been missing the mark for me. And I know it's like that for all of us. What works for me may not work for you and vice versa. So Cosmos, you know, I'm not counting it out yet, but it's, likely never gonna be on my must buy list. Let's just put it that way. It's just middle of the road. Now, speaking of larger palettes, I think the largest palette in this bunch has got to be the Bella Beauté Bar. This is the Ellie Star and Brittany Huffman Best Matte Palette. Guys, I created six looks with this palette and I've used it, I think, once since filming. So I've created seven looks with this palette. But the six looks that I created, I didn't think they were gonna be six all matte looks. They turned out to be six all matte looks. And you guys know, I mean, obviously I love my duochromes. I love sparkly, shifty shadows. This doesn't have any of that, but I was able to create six really, in my opinion, nice looks. Things, looks that I thought I would never be able to create, they still made an impact even though they were missing that sparkle, that duochrome, that beautiful shimmer. It's amazing what your mind can think of and if you just kind of sit and zone out, you know, in front of the mirror with the palette and just play, you know, just kind of create different color combinations. It's almost like therapy. It's almost like a de-stressor because you're just, you know, you're not in a rush. You're not in a hurry. You're not worried about who's going to see you, who's not going to see you. You don't even need to take pictures. It's just for you to have fun. And for me, I was kind of just zoned out when I was filming with this palette because the looks that I did, I didn't talk through them. I did it to where I just, you know, played some music in the background. And that really helps me a lot as a content creator. If I don't feel the pressure to have to explain each and every step and brush and technique and yada, yada, yada. Sometimes, especially when working with a larger palette like this, it's just easier for me to be more creative if I can just be silent and just kind of play with the makeup on my own. So um, 
I'm here to tell you if you need a rainbow all matte palette, uh, this is it right here. I have an uh, affiliate code with Bella Beauty Bar. I believe it is step 10 and that will save you 10% off of your order. Uh, you can pop out all of these shades. They have a magnetic base and then um, you can of course, you know, make your own palette. I want to say they sell empty smaller palettes on their website, but this Best Mats has been a beautiful addition to my stash and congratulations to Ellie Brittany and Bella Beauty Bar on this fantastic release. We're almost done with eyeshadow palettes. I have another larger palette to share with you and it is the Juvia's Place Culture 2 palette. I like this one. I like the Juvia's Place Culture palettes. Um, this is really, really pretty. You have a lot of different colors, some pink, red, yellow, blue, purple. You have a little bit of bright, like primary colors, but then you also have a few like pastels in here. And of course you have the beautiful shimmer shadows, ignore the airplane passing by, but I liked this one. I thought that this one performed really well. There's so many looks that you can create with it. If you are new to Juvia's Place, they don't always do this large scale of palette. Most of their palettes are either six pan or they're 16 pan. Do they have 12 pan? I don't know. Do they have 12 pan? I'm not remembering right now. I'm sure they do. Yeah, they do have 12 pan palettes. Not all of them are this large. You can definitely find smaller palettes um, in their lineup, but definitely put them on your must try list. They are a large indie makeup brand and they are available in store at Ulta. Of course, if you sign up uh, for the, their email notifications for their website, they are always running sales. Like something is always going on sale over there and they have some really good makeup at an affordable price point, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. So next up, we have the Full Fantasy Collection from Laura Lee Los Angeles and from Lunar Beauty. So here is the eyeshadow palette. This is the Full Fantasy eyeshadow palette, a neutral color story, but this embodies everything that Manny and Laura, their entire aesthetic. They are neutral eyeshadow lovers. They both create beautiful neutral eyeshadow looks. Sometimes Manny will sprinkle in some color here and there, but he always has that nice sharp wing eyeliner look. Uh, I don't watch Laura's channel as often as I do Manny's, but she's always done beautiful makeup. She was one of the ones that I started watching first when I got into like watching YouTube videos over makeup and stuff. I mean, they're the ones who have been around some of the longest. So they've been on this platform for quite some time. I am so happy that they collaborated together because they are the best of friends. I think this entire collection makes total sense. I think it accurately represents each of their brands and who they are. This is the blush palette. You guys know Lunar Beauty makes some amazing blushes. This has to be the Lunar Beauty blush formula because it is fantastic. You get these four blushes and the two highlighters. I love it. I think this is perfect. Um, packaging, everything. This packaging is more so like Lunar Beauty packaging. And I'm really hoping we get a Halloween release from Lunar Beauty. We shall see. The only thing that I was like mm, about with the collection were the lipstick shades. Love the packaging of these lipsticks. All you have to do is just press here and then it pops off like that. For me, I feel like these wash me out a little bit. They're a little too neutral. I would definitely need to wear a darker lip liner or a gloss with them. But this, these colors, they totally make sense for Manny and Laura because they always end up doing like a neutral lip. And then of course we got the makeup bag because I bought the full set. And then we got these beautiful brushes. So there's some face brushes, eyeshadow brushes. I have some Lunar Beauty brushes already, but I didn't have any eyeshadow brushes. So I think that these feel soft. They're nice. I don't know if this is Lunar Beauty or Laura Lee because she does make some nice brushes as well. Would you believe I still have her brush set that she did with Morphe way back in the day. And I still have the little pouch and everything. That was a good brush set, but I like the entire collection, you know, minus the lipstick shades. This is the card that was included, shows you everything. And I think the collection makes total sense. Congratulations to Manny and Laura Lee for this really cute, total best friend BFF collection.
All right, next we're gonna talk about lippies. And BK Beauty launched a few, I think it was six new shades of their Luxe lipstick. So I pulled out a few of them here. Let's see, this one is my favorite, Empower. This one, this is like an orange shade. And BK Beauty had a lot of pink neutral shades in their existing lineup. So now they've added some orange. They gave us uh, a different shade of pink, which this one right here, this one is Beauty. And they also gave us like some red tones. Look at how beautiful those are. And don't just reserve these shades for summer or spring. Use them year round. This other shade has a little bit of purple in it. This one is called Gratitude. I didn't, I forgot to pull out the one that has more red, but look at that. Those are beautiful. Empower, the orangey one, that is my favorite of the ones that she launched. And BK Beauty has this magnetic closure. So they really do feel like luxury lipsticks. I have a code with BK Beauty. It is a non-affiliate code and it is Steph 10 that will save you guys 10% uh, off anything you want to buy over there. But I do know that they're having a sale coming up really soon. I think it's their anniversary sale. So I'll definitely be posting about that in the community section and over on my Instagram. Continuing on with lippies, Maybelline has been busy and they've been releasing some new lifter gloss, some new shades of their lifter gloss and some new Superstay ink liquid lipsticks. So these two shades right here, I only pulled out a couple of them. I believe there were four new shades. I swatched them all. So guys, if I can Fit. You know, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have my June playlist also linked in a pinned comment. That way you guys can just go back and watch the reviews I did on all of these makeup products because that's how I've been uh, organizing myself, organizing my channel this year. I've been making playlists for each month and then all the videos that I make that month go into that playlist. So it makes it easier for you to just go back and check to see, you know, certain reviews and looks on specific products. But these two glosses right here, the darker one is shade 25 this one is uh called taffy i'll go ahead and i'll swatch this on the back of my hand i'll do it this way so it's this one going across and then the other shade this one is shade 21 this one is called gummy bear how cute uh these glosses are incredible wear them alone it's the one down here at the bottom wear them alone or wear them with a, a lip liner or wear them on top of your favorite lipstick i like to wear these on their own i don't really feel the need to like pair them with a lip liner or put them on top of a lipstick what i do like and what i will recommend is when it comes to these maybelline superstay inks they can be a little bit drying so if i were you and you find some new shades in these uh superstay matte inks uh, this one is called uh 465 this is a beautiful pink one i'm going to put it over here on this side so there it is right there i would definitely pick up one of the inks and one of the glosses because it does make a huge difference in the the wear and how comfortable it feels on the lips this other shade is 455 Ooh, this is like a pretty brick red look at that over here on this side look at how pretty that is and then the other one I pulled out this is the one I've been wearing the most this one is shade 435 this one to me is just like one of the most neutral ones. And there you can see it right there. So those are the three inks. These are the two lifter glosses and that's BK Beauty over here on this side. I love it. I love doing lip swatch parties here on my channel. I love swatching out new lippies. Um, so I definitely have videos dedicated to all of these lip products. But if you're at Ulta in the drugstore section or wherever they sell Maybelline, I would definitely check out one of the new shades in the inks and definitely one or two of the shades in the new lifter glosses. Okay, so now let's talk about skin tints and I have two skin tints that I tried in the month of June the first one was the latest one from Danessa Myricks and it is the yummy skin serum skin tint the shade I have is shade three I think it's a nice shade match this works well on my 41 year old normal to oily skin but I have to do at least one touch up during the day I think it just 
wears better on me that way. So I like to use a more mattifying primer with this one. And I definitely wear a good oil control setting powder. And if I can do that touch up during midday, then I definitely will. But this has been one of the better foundations from Danessa Myricks. Her very first foundation, which I forget the name of it, I love that one. And then this one would come in like right a really close second place. So this is good. A few of you asked me to compare this to the new Hourglass foundation. I think that the Hourglass uh, foundation or skin tint, I should say, you're going to have more of a dewiness with that one. I think you definitely see more radiance on the Hourglass one versus this one. So if maybe you are of the full on oily skin type, I would go with this one over the Hourglass one. But long longevity wise, the hourglass definitely gets me more wear time, a better looking 10 hour check in than this one did. Although this is not terrible, but if I'm going to rank them, I'm probably going to veer more towards the hourglass one than this one. But coverage, coverage is pretty decent on that one. Um, I hadn't tried I've been this one has like foundation all over it. Look at this. Where's my makeup wipe? I had not tried the one size turn up the base BB cream. And so when I picked up the new pink setting powder, which we'll talk about this one in a second, I decided to go ahead and pick up the BB cream to try it out. The shade I have fair three. So it turns out like I'm three in a lot of different foundation shades. Um, but this is a nice one as well. I think these are super similar to one another. I don't think you need both. If you have one, if you already have the one size, finish it up and then try the Danessa Myricks. Or if you're wondering between the two, I, I would, you know, either one, I think you'll get more of like a matte finish, a slight matte finish, not a full on matte finish, but a little bit more matte finish with this one than with this one, but these wear so similar to one another, coverage and everything wise on my normal to oily skin. Um, but I like them both and I'm glad I have them both in my stash. As far as the ultra pink powder. I like this one so much better than the translucent powder. And I have the mini size in the translucent. Sometimes that powder can be finicky on me. Sometimes it can accentuate texture or it won't control oil as well as I wanted to. Again, that also depends on what concealer, what foundation I am pairing with it. But I have had really good luck with the ultra pink powder as far as the concealers and foundations that I've been pairing with it. And I like it. I think it's doing a good job of brightening because that's what the pink powder does. It adds a brightening effect to the under eye area to wherever you're placing it. But it also does a good job at controlling the oil. So I'm really happy. I've been trying a lot of pink powders lately and I will rank them for you. I'll probably do like a little YouTube short and I'll rank them all because I have about five pink powders that I've been testing out the last couple months. And so I'm still trying to make up my mind how I'm going to rank them, but you'll definitely see that one on the list. Another pink powder is the one from Danessa Myricks. I think I've been reaching for this more so than I have the one size, and I really like this one. This is a really nice setting powder. This is the Evolution Powder, and the shade is just called Pink. I think it's really nice. This is the first powder that I tried from her brand. I think this is the only powder like they have different shades of this but I think this could be the only powder that she has in her lineup but it's a good one it's a good one um I would say gosh you see I'm just I'm not ready to rank them just yet just because I'm still testing them out I would say you know go with your intuition go with whatever other reviews you've seen on YouTube but for me, I think they both do a great job. Maybe just go with whichever one is cheaper. And I forget the prices on them. I want to say they're very similar in price point as well. But you definitely get more product in the one size than you do in the Danessa Myrick. So I'll just leave it there. And I'll definitely be ranking them for you a little bit later on once I've tried them more. Um, I did try, let's see, I tried two mascaras. So loving this one from essence this is the lash like a boss instant lift and curl mascara this is one of my new favorite mascaras that's that's what the wand looks like it has a little curve to it i love it i love it just look for the lime green tube this is like five dollars well worth its price tag i've also enjoyed the new one from lys this is the lash confidence mascara this one also has 
a curl to it, to the wand. I don't notice like any flaking, smudging, or smearing with either of these. My favorite of the two would definitely be the Essence, not just because it's at a cheaper price point, but because I like the separation and curl and length, which I already have length because I'm a Revita lash user, but it really helps to define my lashes and I just, I just been loving them so, so much. So speaking of Essence, this is the lip combo that I'm currently wearing right now. This is uh, from the uh, Hugs and Teddies collection. This is the plumping lip gloss. I don't really feel a tingling effect with this lip gloss, but I do love the color. And I think this is the only color it comes in. It says 01 Kissed by Teddy. And then this is the lip liner I paired with it. This one is also from the same collection. Um, and it is the shade So Very Soft. How cute. There's a lot of things from Essence that I picked up. Let's go ahead and talk about those other Essence products just because I have them here. So these were two palettes that I picked up and tried in the month of June. They actually turned out to be pretty good. So this is the Hugs and Teddies palette that accompanies uh, this lip combo. This is a solid little palette. I did end up creating a look with these eyeshadows and they performed really well. The highlighter is a little, it's a little dark on me, um, but I think I can still make it work if I blend it in with the blush a little bit better. But um, it's a cute little palette. It performs really well. Wish it had a mirror, but you know, no big deal. I think it's a cute little palette. And then they also released a couple of these palettes. This is the one I chose to pick up. This is the Positive Vibes Only Eyeshadow Palette. And it's just six little shadows. The only dud was this one that has little checkers in it, but everything else performed really well. This is like a really nice little palette. So if maybe you're looking for like an inexpensive gift for somebody, or maybe you're just looking to try something from Essence, this would be a good place to start. But just know this is not going to be this is more of a satin. It's more of a satin shade than it is a shimmer. The other two shimmers perform way better than this one with the checkers does. So in June, Laura Geller sent me a really nice PR package and they sent me a product that I hadn't had in my stash in years. And I'm so happy to welcome it back into my stash. This is their spackle primer, but this is the hydrating version. I love this. I love this primer. She kind of pioneered the whole makeup primer, I would say, because Spackle, I remember watching QVC. Well, I watch QVC all the time, but I remember back in the day when makeup primer was just kind of becoming a thing and she had the original spackle and it just showed how smooth the foundation went over um, spackle and now there's different versions of spackle and I cannot be more happy with the hydrating version even though I am a normal to oily skin type this does not cause me to get excessively oily it's just perfect it just balances my skin and it makes the foundation and concealer look really smooth so thank you so much to the Laura Geller team for sending that my way. Now some blushes that I was a little disappointed with, Dior. So these are not cheap, okay? These are like, was it $40 each? $45 each? Is it $50 each? I don't know. It's between $40 and $50. They dropped some new shades, okay? So the shades I picked up were, I don't think this was one of the new shades. I mean, it could have been. I don't fully remember because this was the first time I was trying it. But this is the uh, Dior Rosy Glow Blush in the shade Coral. Now, it has the word glow in it. I was expecting it to be a glowy blush. This other shade that I picked up, this one is the shade Cherry. They don't have a lot of pigmentation and I don't see any glow. So I, I don't understand what the hype is with these blushes. I have some other blushes from Essence that are really glowy blushes and they're only $5 and they last all day long. These I felt I really had to work to build up the pigment and I just didn't, I didn't understand the hype. I love Dior. I love Dior foundation, concealer. Dior, Dior complexion products have always worked really well for me. So I wanted to venture out and try something other than complexion products. I wanted to try actual like color products and I was left disappointed with these. So I don't know, let me know your thoughts on these. Do you have them? Do you notice a glow? Is it just me? Maybe I was expecting something different and that's why I'm a little disappointed, but yeah, those left something to be desired.
Now, a blush that made a great impression in my stash, and that's also a high-end luxury blush, is the Armani blush. And this is also a, this is their Luminous Silk Glow Blush. This one is in the shade, is it shade? Yeah, shade 50, it says. This, even though it looks really light, you can still see the shimmer in there, and this has pigment, and it shows up, and it has a mirror over here. This is a beautiful blush. I would definitely pick up one or two other shades, maybe during the Sephora sale, but this blush I got straight from the Sephora, no, straight from the Armani Beauty website because, do I have it in here? I didn't bring it up here, but I tried, I'll put a picture of it right here. I tried the Power Fabric Concealer. This is a reformulation for the brand, and I like it. I like this concealer. I like the coverage that it gives. It's been playing well with my setting powders that I have, with the other foundations. So I picked that concealer up, and I picked this blush up, both from the Armani website, and I absolutely love them. Love them, love them, love them. I've been noticing that a lot of the luxury brands are reformulating a lot of, you know, their foundations and concealers and whatnot. And they're making them to be, I guess, with more skincare, which is always great for us because, you know, we do have it on for like 10, 12 hours a day. But please do not rely on the skincare that is in your makeup to be like your one and done skincare. It's always... You're always going to get better results when you have a good skincare regimen both in the morning and at night and never go to bed with your makeup on. So one of my favorite indie makeup brands, which is Sugar Drizzle, dropped some new duo multi-chrome shadow sticks. And I think you can buy these. They're on pre-order right now because their initial batch did sell out, but these are really cool. I like using these in the waterline. So this one right here, this one is Moon. This is the shade Moon. This other shade, because they're dual sided, this other shade is called Moth. These are gorgeous. And they're very easy to just apply really quick in the waterline. Or maybe this is just going to be like your inner corner highlight right there. Whatever you want to do. There were, I think, six different sticks that they released. And I have a video where I'm showing you guys how to use them, how to implement them into your makeup routine. I think Sugar Drizzle did a great job with these. Here's another one. I'll swatch this one for you. This one is called Star and Fish. So here is the shade Star, that really purple, pretty purple lavender shade. And then this other shade is going to be Fish. I forget how much of these are. Were they 2015. I have a discount code, an affiliate code. It's step 10. And that'll give you 10% off of your order at Sugar Drizzle. But I definitely think they're worth picking up at least one or two of them because you can do so many different things with them. Uh, we're coming to the end, guys. I only have a couple products left. So Fenty, where is the, oh, here it is. So Fenty released some new stuff for summer 2023. She released one of these new blushes, like little stick blushes. I think you can wear this on your lips, but I always choose to wear it as a blush. And it gives a beautiful dewy finish. And it lasts. I would say it lasts. I wouldn't say it lasts like all day. Like I feel like, you know, it's kind of worn off by the 10 hour mark, but it's going to get you a good six to eight hours of wear. And then of course, if you set it with a powder, it'll last even longer, but then you're going to take away that dewy effect. But it really is, it's really pretty. It looks almost jelly-like in the tube. And I love the ombre effect, the pink and the orange and purple. Um, the shade is called Strawberry Pop. I believe that is this, the same shade of the lipstick and I bought the case and all of that. This one is uh, Miss Candy Venom. I think there were two different shades released in the lipstick. And of course, they are refillable lipsticks. And there's the shade right there. And these last a good, a good while. I would say they last, you know, you're gonna have to touch up like after you eat, after lunch or something, but they'll make it a good work day. And I love that she comes out with different cases and stuff. Really cool. I, I love these new Fenty products. Um, last but not least, I have Lawless. So Lawless Beauty, I still have yet to try the blush they sent me, but they sent me this. And they also sent me um, 
it was another lip product. I just don't have it in front of me. This is the one I've been reaching for the most. This is the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line uh, Line Smoothing Gloss. And the shade in this one is called um, Juicy Watermelon. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this. This is obviously from the watermelon collection there it is over here it was a really cute collection it was a really cute pr package and i like these glosses quite a bit you can feel a little bit of tingling from it but it's not an intense tingle it's just like the perfect amount and the formula is really nice really comfortable it doesn't get sticky it doesn't get tacky and i've really been enjoying it thank you so much lawless beauty for sending me your new watermelon collection and last but not least i have a couple of skincare products to share with you the team at Paula's Choice, they sent me such a cute PR package and that's because I told them I was going to be going on vacation, I was taking a beach vacation. They sent me a little baseball cap and they sent me several different sunscreens. These are two of my new favorite sunscreens. So I would say if you are more on the normal to dry or full on dry, this is going to be a really beautiful sunscreen. Although I am a normal to oily skin type and I find myself reaching for this quite a bit. This is their healthy glow invisible sunscreen oil it does have um spf 30 in it i love it i wore this one this is the one that i would apply when i would reapply my sunscreen during the day um, and then i would use this one over here as my moisturizer that had sunscreen in it and this is the youth extending daily hydrating fluid this one has a spf 50 in it this is a very nice one i didn't notice any excessive oiliness or breakouts anything like that i think either one of these is a fantastic choice paula's choice is a skincare brand that I have been using for a number of years. I swear by their 1% retinol. I just opened a new bottle of it last night. Um, I am, guys, I'm so sorry. I am doing a, I am going to do a skincare video. I have one. I'm planning it out as we speak. Um, it's going to be more along the lines of like a YouTube short, like a get unready with me or a get ready with me skincare type of routine. Um, and you can definitely expect to see Paula's choice in that video because there's just so many products that I use from the brand and uh, they work and they work great on my 41 year old normal to oily skin. So thank you so much Paula's Choice for sending me these new goodies. I've definitely been getting a lot of use out of the baseball cap. And last but not least is this little beauty right here from Glow Recipe. This is their Plum Plump Hyaluronic Gloss Balm. I use this morning and night and during the day I cannot get enough of this stuff. It is thick, it is juicy, it just, it gives my lips the exact hydration that they need your lips they need to stay hydrated uh, they do get chapped in the summertime because of sun exposure and then obviously in the winter time because it is so dry out and cold having this has been a lifesaver it has a little bit of a watermelon scent to it actually no it has more of like a little watermelon taste than it does scent but this feels so juicy and so good you guys can see i definitely made a dent in this and i've had it for about a month i absolutely love it i took it with me on vacation and i couldn't be more pleased with it all right guys so that wraps up today's video those were all the goodies and not so much goodies that i tried in the month of june for 2023 let me know what some of your favorite products have been as of recently or some new brands that you've discovered this summer what are some products that you think we need to stay away from let's get the conversation going in the comments down below i want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated you guys drink your water and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.